you had COVID-19 symptoms but couldn't get tested, there's a new product that could help you find out if you've had the virus. The FDA has given an emergency use authorization for an antibody test, and it is the first for the United States. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, joining us now. And Doc, how does this test work? So by this new blood test has been authorized, you know, for for diagnosis and I'm really excited. Uh, it should really help us in the fight for the coronavirus. So how does it work, right? The blood samples are taken and sent to authorized labs. You can get even blood from a finger prick. And the test looks for two types of antibodies. It's immunoglobulin M, which the body makes a few days after the infection, and then immunoglobulin G made later to neutralize the particular bug. And if you test positive, it indicates that you've either recently been infected or currently infected with the coronavirus. Someone could find out if they have the virus then? Yeah, so this new blood test has been authorized for diagnosis, but there's, there's a downside, Brian, and that's because antibodies can take time to develop. And if you t get tested too early, there's a possibility that you may actually test negative, whereas with mm -hmm. the, the current PCR test, they're more likely to detect a new infection by swabbing the nose and throat. So let's say we do have the virus. If we do have those antibodies in our system, does that mean that afterwards we're protected? So the test would show if you have antibodies, but it wouldn't really tell you how well they're working, at least fully. So having said that, it's likely to at least give you some immunity, the antibodies that it, they just don't, there's no guarantee that you'd have full immunity. But it would still be very helpful in determining how many of us have been infected. And also for my colleagues and those who are healthcare workers in the front line, it would really be helpful. They would, they would know at least that they have some kind of protection. They would still need the proper protection with PPE, but at least they, have, they feel like they have some immunity. It would, it would provide some peace of mind for those working on the front line. So it's, like, again, another tool in the fight for the coronavirus. I think as the testing gets better, we're going to be able to flatten the curve. And this is one piece of it for sure. Doc, one last question, if you have the time, is do you, any clue when we, at the general public, will be able to get this test? I think, you know, they've, they've uh, had this, this uh, test out. I think they have to mass produce it. And then once they do that, it'll come to come to doctor's offices and then they'll be able to distribute it to patients. So I can't tell you whether it's good, but within weeks, I'm sure this is going to happen. And that's going to be a game changer because then we can test. The more people know whether they're positive or negative or they've had the infection, the more we can move forward with, with really getting ahead of this infection. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you. And if you do have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll make sure to